welcome back to my channel this is Abish Khan and in this video I am gonna share with you guys 5 different ways to delete the content of file in Linux without deleting the file itself so let's get started so I have uh, all these files and uh, uh, let us uh, check the content of one of them so get and let's say file one done. and this all uh, files uh, contain the same content but actually it doesn't matter I just wanted to show you okay so we will uh, start with the first method and that is actually uh, using slash div slash null okay so let us use uh, this one and let us i want to delete the content of file one dot sh so what we can do you can use this command skit slash uh, dev slash null okay and then um, redirect and then the file name that is file one dot txt okay so if I get a uh, file one dot txt, you can see here that nothing is uh, there. The, the, the content of file one dot uh, sh has been deleted. So you can do the same by using uh, other command that is uh, uh, cp and uh, uh, slash dev slash null. Okay, and then uh, the name of the file. Okay, let's that is file two dot sh. Okay, so. If I create file 2, okay, you can see here that uh, nothing is here, okay, so everything is deleted. So you can do the same using uh, the other command that is uh, dd and uh, if is equal to slash dev, okay, and then slash null and then off and is equal to uh, the file name that you want to uh, delete the content of it, okay. So that is in our case, let's say it's file 3.sh, okay, so uh, enter and uh, let us uh, let us create the content of uh, this file 3 and let us create file 3 dot sh uh, you see here that nothing is here well by the way this if mean the the, the, the input and off mean the output file and that's basically file 3 dot sh okay so let us uh, let us uh, move to the next method that is uh, the second method and that is using true redirection okay so what you can do you can use this command that is a colon redirect okay and the name of the file that is a uh, file let's say file 4.sh okay and uh, let us create the content of file 4 okay so you can see here that uh, uh, the content of this uh, file has been deleted okay and you can do the same by using this command as well that is a uh, true okay and redirect and then you have to uh, to give the name of the file and let's see in my case it is file 5.sh so enter and uh, if I get file 5.sh you can see here that the, ca the content of this file uh, has been deleted now let us talk about the third method that is uh, deleting content of the file using redirection operator okay so let us use this method so how do I use this uh, you have to just uh, type this uh, redirect and the name of the file and that's in my case it's let's say file uh, 6.sh okay enter and if i get file 6.sh you can see here that uh, the content of this file has been deleted okay so fourth method that is uh, deleting uh, the content of file using echo command okay so what i have to do is just type this command echo okay and then double quotation okay and uh, redirect sign okay and the name of the file and in my case it is let's say file 7.sh okay enter and get file 7.sh okay so you can see here that the content of this file has been deleted so you can do the same by using this command that is echo okay echo and then greater than sign and uh, then the name of the file that is in my case let's it's file 8.sh okay enter and if i get file 8 dot uh, sh you can see here that the, the the content of this file has been deleted okay but you can notice that there is a blank line okay so to get rid of this blank line okay uh, let's uh, you have to use this command that is uh, echo and there is echo and dash n and double quotation and then redirect and then the name of the file that is file 9 dot sh okay so enter so if i get file line dot sh okay you can see it you can see here that there is uh, the that the content of this file has been deleted plus there is no empty line like uh, in case of this file 8 and file 7 okay 
So let us talk about the final method and that is uh, deleting content of file using truncate command. So basically truncate uh, command is used to, sh to shrink or extend the size of the file and we will use uh, this to delete uh, the content of the file. So how do we do this? So let us uh, clear this and you have to use this command that is truncate okay and uh, dash s okay and zero and then the name of the file you want to delete the content of it so let's say a knife dot sh okay okay so uh, let basically this zero means that we are defining uh, a, a size of zero okay so just uh, enter so if, if I get file line dot sh you can see here that um, the, the content of this file has been deleted so thanks for watching this video. I hope you have liked this video and if you have liked it, please share. Uh, thank you.